enemy. What does it mean to be an enemy? An enemy is somebody that wants to harm you. An enemy is somebody that wants to undermine you. An enemy is somebody that has an agenda that can be harmful to you. Hit that thumbs up. This is Raw Status TV, one Raw Status Twitter, the Raw Status IG, rawstatus.com. Follow us across social media. And this was posted on a video um, that I posted about this white Latino DJ. It's in my timeline. Look it up. Um, And I just want to talk about how ignorant the hip hop community in New York has been by allowing these wannabe white supremacist Spanish speaking cornballs, these mixed up half breed poor toe stinkins into the mix. They've had an agenda the whole time. I just want to point out the ignorance coming from these dirt balls. I'm going to read a little bit of this raw status TV. You call yourself a color and have no idea who you are. You speak about people who know who they are. Porto Ricans know who they are. Yes, hip hop was created organically by both. By the way, the music you sing, most of it originates from Africa. I'm going to stop right there. Uh, none of that is true, first of all. If you've ever been around a bunch of confused, ignorant, silly Puerto Ricans, they don't know who the hell they are. Some of them want to be white. Some of them say they're black when they're around you. They're really a bunch of half bred, mixed up, not very intelligent, um, slow talking, slow thinking cornballs. And for some reason, the New York community embraces these people. They're a bunch of con artists, kind of like Fat Joe. If you look at the way that Fat Joe made his millions off of copying black music and making songs about, quote, killing niggas. And then when he was checked about using the N-word, he came out with a song saying, nigga, 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 nigga. Okay, he needed the refried beans slapped out of his fat ass mouth. Okay, you can tell him I said that. Okay, and I just want to point out that this is what we're dealing with. These people are a straight up want to be white supremacist enemy. They have no business participating in black music. Nothing we sing originated in Africa. See, this is the stupidity. Don't forget that in Spanish culture, the word Africa is a negative word. I don't know why Africa is a beautiful continent. Um, and these people believe that saying the word African or go back to Africa is somehow supposed to hurt, is somehow supposed to hurt your feelings or is supposed to be a diss or something. Um, they're the little games they play are from the 1960s. Um, so I'm going to ask exactly what music do we sing that comes from Africa? Our music comes from the plantations. Our music is coded to help us escape from plantation torture. Wade in the water. There's nothing African about nothing that we sing. Have you ever listened to African music? So these people have resorted to lying, telling untruths, and basically just acting like a bunch of silly, stale pinto bean eating punks. Now, I've told you all about these people. And I've done videos about the New York entertainment community and their obsession with these corny, no talent having lames. Can you name one Fat Joe song that's actually tight where he didn't have someone else on the song with him, a black American or whatever is in New York on the song with him? So now they've resorted to lying. So I replied by saying, show me a recorded, show me recorded evidence of a Puerto Rican rapping before a black person. You can't. You see, the Puerto Rican, the pale skinned, um, flagella hair, horse hair, horse face, Porto stinking, they have no talent. The only one that came close to being dope was Big Pun, and his wife was black. So again, understand that we make these videos for a reason. You need to understand that these people are an enemy, a jealous, untalented, corny, actually very dangerous enemy. I'm going to do more about the origins of hip-hop and its connection to the concentration camps in America, better known as plantations. The blues, jazz, rock and roll, hip hop, disco. There's nothing African and damn near and damn sure nothing Puerto Rican about none of that. Let me know what you think. I will be back with more videos. Sorry for the delay. This is Raw Status TV.